One Ton Live is presented by Vattenfall, Volvo and Aarhus. In this episode of One Ton Live, it's party time. Leif Grönlund from ICA will be cooking up a delicious climate smart festive dinner, while Lars Eiklint from Vattenfall offers tips on efficient and energy lean kitchen appliances. Uh, tonight I'm really excited because we're going to have a dinner party with some of my friends and mom's friends. And there's a chef from Ica who's coming to cook for us. So I'm really excited to see what he's going to do. Okay, okay so there's a ladies dinner going on in there. So we're not supposed to be here. We're going to have to find some other climate smart fun thing to do for us boys. What do you say to a movie? Sounds good. So we'll have a great evening out without the girls for once. Going to the movies is a climate smart recreation, especially if the energy comes from renewable electricity. And if in addition you drive an electric car, your carbon emissions will be very small. Hey. Uh, another exciting thing is that all the meals that it is cooking for us is environmental friendly. So it's going to be exciting to see what he has come up with. By preheating the plates in the oven, the food stays warm for longer and less energy is needed to reheat the food. Yesterday's vegetables can make an excellent dip while enjoying an aperitif. And what's left over can be stir-fried in the wok for lunch next day. Well folks, it's time to take our seats at the dinner table. I thought perhaps the girls could sit over there. I'm going to serve you some soup. The first course is an almond potato and Jerusalem artichoke soup served with smoked salmon. The kitchen in the Wonton Life House has been fitted by house builder Aarhus with some of the market's most energy efficient white goods from Siemens. Both water consumption and energy usage can be kept to a minimum, giving lower emissions. More tips on how to minimize energy consumption can be found on the website. This cooker is a dream for any home. Here you can cook your food energy efficiently and you don't have to worry about burning your food. There are nine frying programs and nine cooking programs. With the help of this plastic strip here and these temperature scales, I can set the temperature I want. The result? Never again will milk burn on the cooker. Good food, low energy consumption and easy to use. Could it be any better? If I may have a say, I'd put a lid on this. Sure, you should have a lid on the pan. Here's how it is. Of course I understand you're in the midst of cooking, but the fact is that 80% of the energy simply disappears into the air this way, doing no good at all. This is an immensely intelligent oven. It features 68 different programs. It's simple to use. Here's where you set the parameters for the type of food you are cooking. And the oven tells you when the food is ready. Uh, What's great about this type of oven is that it maintains a perfectly uniform, evenly distributed temperature at exactly the level you decide. In this case, 100 degrees. The chicken will come out juicy and delicious. So this is something I would really recommend for all types of meat if you want it properly cooked all the way through. Shall we take a look here then? Well, we can see that the winter frost has visited here too. Here's what the freezer looked like in the Lindell family's old house. Layers of frost and ice meant that the freezer had to work harder, thus using more energy. Defrost your freezer before it gets to this stage. What's the winter landscape like in this new freezer? Has it disappeared? Yes, it certainly looks a bit different here. But then this one is self-defrosting and that makes a big difference. Look here, this is better, isn't it? Sure is. It's like summer in there. Exactly. Fish, meat and vegetables can last up to three times longer here than in standard models. Remember to open the door as little as possible and to defrost frozen food in the fridge. That means the fridge has to work less. Today's dishwashers are amazingly efficient. There's no reason whatsoever to pre-wash. Many people flush water corresponding to one quarter of the machine's total water requirements down the drain before the dishes even enter the machine, for no reason at all. What's more, this machine is immensely effective and environmentally optimized. For instance, it saves the water from the last rinse and uses it as the first rinse of the next load. Cooking for many people at the same time is a climate smart move and cooking extra to last for both dinner and next day's lunch is an intelligent way to reduce energy consumption. It was wonderful to have a soup that wasn't too spicy so you could taste all the lovely flavors before coming to a spicier main course. 
What do you say, Hannah? Well, I haven't had my dessert yet. I can't make up my mind. Can't say we've only had two of the three courses so far. Well, so far then. I think it's got to be the naan bread. Or the chicken. Above all, the soup. That was super tasty. That's definitely something I'm going to try out at home. You haven't eaten everything. You know, we throw away about one third of all the food we buy. Wow, that much? So, in other words, you want me to finish everything on my plate. The dessert is made entirely from frozen berries. And it's the same thing that applies there. You pick the berries when they are at the best. Pack them off into the freezer and then use them during the winter. And the same thing applies to vegetables. You can use any amount of frozen vegetables in the winter when you get fed up with root vegetables. Frozen vegetables are wonderful from the environmental viewpoint. When I drew up the menu here, I thought about using seasonal produce, which would mean root vegetables that are in season right now. So there's a lot of that in the main course. There are also lentils and chicken, which has a very low impact on the CO2 footprint. I did some quick sums on this menu and found out that we're talking about 1.2 kilograms per person for all three courses. I replaced the chicken with beef just to see what effect that would have on the meal's carbon emissions and ended up with 4.7. There's a significant jump from 1.2 to 4.7 between chicken and beef. The day after the dinner party, it was time for cleaning and washing. A high-efficient vacuum cleaner does the job faster and at half the energy cost. At home, think about defrosting the freezer, opening the fridge and freezer as little as possible. Defrosting frozen food in the fridge and not pre-washing in running water. I had a lot of fun yesterday. It was real nice meeting all my friends again and showing them the house and eating dinner together. So, I had a lot of fun. It was a nice evening. In the next episode, we'll focus on the family's recreational pastimes. We'll also take a close look at their washing and cleaning routines and how to think climate smart when shopping for clothes and furniture. See you then.